from this kid that we just got. So we're walking down the street, and this kid has ADHD, and if you don't know what that means, it means you're fucking off the wall 24-7. So this kid's screaming, he's making noise, it's, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night at this point, so we're getting pretty fucked, like, you know, I'm telling him to shut up, because I don't want any neighbors to call on us, you know, I don't want anyone to come out and yell at us. So, before I could even, okay, so about 10 minutes go by after I told him to shut the fuck up. And uh, we turn a corner onto this back road, and we're walking on this back road because we were kind of sketched out because the kid was making noise, and, you know, I don't know, we, we passed by a few cars, and we just got scared, and, you know, we don't want to smoke in front of them. So we go down this back road, and uh, we're walking down this back road, and I look, and I see headlights pull into the back road, like there's two entrances to this road, and I see two headlights, like, pull in, and uh, I'm like, great. So I see it's coming, and uh, as it's getting closer... All I can see is just the guard that you see on the front of the cop cars. And I'm like, no, there is no way that's who I think it is. And then my friend's like, what do we do? What do we do? I have so much shit on me. I don't want to get, I don't want to get put in juvie. I'm like, dude, you're fine. And he's like, no, I, I can't, I can't. I'm like, dude, just please let me just talk to him and we can get out of this. And he's like, no. So he turns left. Now the way this back road is set up, guys, is uh, there's many houses on it. You know, it's just... It's a, it's a shortcut. It's like a little neighborhood, back road neighborhood. So there's a few houses, and then there's a bike path. I see my friend just disappear. I don't even know where he went. I didn't even know there was a bike path at the time. So I get this quick glimpse of him as this cop's pulling up, and I see my friend. I get a quick glimpse of him going through the bike path. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to sit here and give them my friend's house number and snitch. So I dipped. I went the same way as my friend, and the other kid followed. So we're hauling it, and this cop's like, he gets out of his car and tries to chase after us. Now, um, you can't take a car down a bike path. It's not big enough. It never will be big enough. So this, you know, kind of a heavy set guy, he looked like he was in his mid-40s, is chasing us, and he's ch chasing us down this bike path. And, you know, I'm not fast at running, especially at the time with the smoker self that I was. So, you know, I couldn't run very good, but, you know, I was doing my best. And uh, I really just, <laughs> I can't even believe I was running as fast as I did. It must have been all the adrenaline pumping through me. But we got to the end of this bike path within like two minutes. And like, it was quite the distance. So, you know, at the end of this bike path, we took a left and then went through uh, a yard. We cut through someone's yard and then found another path to take, which led like literally we were at this point we were running. This is kind of sped up, but you know, we were running so fast. We were literally half a mile away from his house at this point. So uh, we lost the cop's trail, but we were still scared because, you know, what does a cop do when he can't catch a victim? Uh, duh, he calls back up. So, you know, we're, we're freaked out. We're thinking that cops are about to come. And uh, what we do is is we call up our friends who have cars, and we're like, yo, we need you right now. He's like, what's going on? We're like, I can't tell you, but we need you right now. And he's like, all right. So my friend with a car came by. He's like 18, and no, no, at the time he was 17. So he wasn't even allowed to be driving at this point, past nine. He has junior license. So this kid picks us up. We get in his car, and we quickly get the fuck out of there. Now, as we're driving back to my buddy's house, the kid with the car, um, we look out the window, and we just see several police. We see several, you know, we're, we're seeing cops. We're seeing, um, you know, like, the, you can see the lights go by. Some of them had their lights on. Some of them were flying by. We were freaked out. So after about 10 minutes of driving, you know, countless turns, freaking out, cold sweats, being completely filled with anxiety, we finally got to the kid's house who owned the car that drove us. So, you know, we're sitting at this kid's house, and uh, we were watching the cops go by. He lives on a main road, so, you know, we were seeing everything. And uh, after about, you know, 12 hours, we fell asleep. So, you know, the next morning, everything died down, and uh, no one really said anything about it. We really thought with our town, they'd put it on the news or something, but they never did. But they did call a fuckload of back, back up to come look for us. But uh, we ended up getting away with it, thank God, because uh, it was horrible. So, um, that was basically it, guys. I hope you did enjoy um I, uh, it's like 6 o'clock, I'm about to go to, I woke up today at 3 o'clock, it's horrible, but, uh, anyway guys, <laughs> this has been True Boy Austin, FFA, or Luna, oh, by the way, apparel's up, it's in the description, if you guys wanna go check out the clothes, it's in the description, I think it's pretty sweet, uh, not too many designs yet, but there's more to come, so anyway guys, make sure you go check that out, this has been Austin, FFA, or Luna, please drop that like button if you enjoyed the video, peace.
What's up guys, Austin here, or Luna. So, this story that I'm about to bring to you guys is probably the funniest, craziest thing that's ever happened to me with uh, police because we actually, you know, you, when you hear stories about like, if a cop chases you or if you're running from the police, you usually um, taunt, you know, not taunt, but um, you do something that you don't mean to do or you do something that, you know, alerts the police. But um, you never really hear about people taunting the police, and this is kind of funny, so I'm going to tell this story, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, yeah, so this was actually three and a half years ago. Um, I was really young. I uh, hung out with, like, we. it was basically just a friend group of mine where we all thought we were hot shit when really we were just a bunch of little kids acting cool. And it was really embarrassing because, you know... We're a bunch of fucking, you know, 12, 13-year-olds acting like we're hot shit when we're not, and we could easily get our asses, you know, beat up and embarrassed. But, um, we used to meet up, and our parents were pretty cool about us walking around the neighborhood because we live right by a, uh, my friend lives right by a convenience store, and he lives by a little plaza, so we could go up to this plaza and, you know, get food, get Subway, and we were usually just relaxing in this plaza. There was plenty of places to go hang out, and, yeah, that's what we would do. So... My one friend, we were all at his we were all at his house, and we went out to this plaza. Now it was midwinter, freaking blizzard, like super super snowy. We were all wearing our fucking high top Osiruses, looking all fucking stupid. We had neon peacock shoes, like we looked like idiots. We were literally like, if we were trying to hide from someone trying to murder us, we stuck out like neon lights, like it was really not good. So we went to this plaza, like I said, uh, midwinter. And we started throwing snowballs at each other. I can't remember what made us do this, but we were throwing snowballs at each other. And we were just having a snow fight. Like, we, we had plenty of layers on. We weren't really cold. And my one friend who was with us is a super ADHD freak. Like, he will literally get in trouble for no reason. He'll go out and just do whatever he can do to get in trouble. We never understood that about him. To this day, he's still like that. I'm pretty sure he's on probation right now. But... Yeah, he would just get us in trouble a lot. So he had the bright idea to go down to a church nearby and throw snowballs off the hill and try and hit the security car because um, they have a security car that drives around the uh, parking lot of the church because a lot of kids like to go back there and do graffiti for some reason. Spray painting a church is kind of fucked up. But um, So we went onto the hill. I didn't, I didn't agree with this. I said, no, I'm not going to do it because I was a pussy. I still kind of am when it comes to throwing shit at security guards. So they all start packing snowballs and fucking, like, Tom Brady throwing him over the hill, hitting the security car, because the the security guard would, he would park right outside the church on the side, right by this hill, so we were throwing snowballs at his car, so my friends were all throwing the snowballs at his car, like I said, I didn't want to do it, I actually threw, like, two, I think, and I, like, I kind of backed up and threw him over the hill so he couldn't see me throwing him, but, um, they were hitting his car, and one, my one dumb fucking friend threw a ball and it had ice in it, so when it hit his car, it just went BAM, and it made like the biggest fucking slam on his huge, uh, on the front of his car, he just heard a huge slamming noise, and that's when he had it, he usually doesn't care, he's a really like nice guy, um, cause I met him a few years after this, but he's a pretty nice dude, he usually didn't really give a shit when we would do it, because my friends have done it before, but um, since the ice hit his car and dented the front, everyone like, he freaked the fuck out, so he threw his sirens on and started driving towards the exit to come and find us, and we started dipping, like, we, uh, we didn't, like, run, run, but we walked into a place at the plaza, and we started hearing sirens, um, immediately, because there actually is a, there's, like, a police station a good block or two away, and if you make a call, they can come right down and get us, so, um, he, he must have made a call, because we heard sirens, and within, like, ten minutes, we saw two cop cars in the plaza parking lot where we were hiding, and we freaked out. I wasn't trying to get arrested for something I didn't even do. I was 13, guys. 13-year-old Austin. I didn't even do anything. I threw two little snow, like, I threw, th I threw two snowballs over a hill that probably didn't even hit his car because I was blinded when I did it. Like I said, I threw it over the hill and I couldn't even see his car, so it probably didn't even hit him. And, uh, yeah. So I said, I'm like, I'm out. Um, and we walked out the door. I said, I'm out of here. If you guys want to follow me, you can, but I'm going to fucking run away and then go call my mom or something. So I walked out of the doors of the building we were hanging out at. Like, I told you guys, it's a plaza. There's plenty of little stores, and we were hiding in this little store. So we walked out. And the minute we walked out, me and my friends, we got a look from one of the cops. The cop was in, he wasn't in the plaza, but he was parked outside of the plaza by a sidewalk. And we knew he would probably would have seen us, but there's a woods and a pathway right behind the store we were at. So we were 